Other thing, I guess I'm kind of jumping off of that situation. There is one more Meg situation I'm going to jump on, but let me get to this. Uh, Armand Wiggins, Cardi B. Cardi B went crazy on this guy. Did y'all see this? She crashed out. Here we go. So Cardi B responded with this screenshot, and she said back okay, in okay. June. So, so uh, I think I could give you a um, a easy, easy summation. Cardi B came out recently and is, you know, she did a speech, number one, for Kamala, and she has endorsed Kamala as president. What had happened is that uh, Cardi B, historically, she had said that she would not going to get into politics, okay? She said she wouldn't get into politics. This is like way back in the day. I can't remember when it was, but she was just like, yo, she, she says she wouldn't she says she wouldn't um, get into the political shit. She says, all right, anyway. She had said she wasn't going to get into politics, right, or anymore. And this is after, you know, she, you know, she was interviewing candidates at a point, and people thought that, oh, this is the ratchet chick they put on camera to get the other ratchet chicks to vote Democrat. And then after something happened, she basically said, nah, I'm going to just stay out of the politics shit. And then recently she just did a speech for she did a speech for Kamala. Part of the speech is actually here. Let's see it. Where is it? 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 <clears throat> Trump says he's going to protect women whether they like it or not. Well, if his if his definition of protection is not the freedom of choice. Okay, it's not long. But, but again, she spoke. Let me see if I can find a longer one. Cardi B. Harris speech. Oh, no, this is. Well, let's find wherever we can find. Harris. Here we go. Thank you for having me. I do not take lightly the call to show up. The call to speak up, the call to deliver a message that's been on my heart for a hot minute now. Talk about it. Now, I took my time writing this speech, so I'm gonna make sure I deliver it right. Because I got something I've been wanting to say for a long time. I've been saying it on Twitter, on my Instagram, and I'm ready to tell it to you now. Y'all ready to listen? All right, now. All right. Just like Kamala Harris, I too have been the underdog. Mm. I've been underestimated. My success belittled and discredited. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Women have to work 10 times harder, perform 10 times better, and still people question us how we got to the top. They be like, how she got there? Hold on, let me get, let me, let me warm up. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I can't stand a bully. But just like Kamala, I always stand up to one. All the time, I'm ready for them. Yeah. And I'm going to be real with y'all. I wasn't going to vote this year. Mm. I wasn't. Okay. But Kamala well, Harris joining the race, she changed my mind completely. <laughs> I did not have faith on any candidates until she joined the race and said the things that I wanted to hear, that I want to see next in this country, all right? I believe in every word that comes out of her mouth. She's passionate, she's compassionate, she shows empathy, and most of all, she is not delusional. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kamala recognized that this country is at risk that the economy needs to get stronger, that the cost of food and the cost of living is too high. Damn, it's even high for me! <laughs> I believe her when she says, under her, buying eggs and milk won't break the bank. Because she's gonna pass a ban on price dodging on groceries. And she told me that in my How many people think Cardi B know what price gouging is? 
my face. So she better not lie to me in my face. Yeah. I believe her when she says she will make housing more affordable by providing Americans with $25,000 in down payment assistance. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I got more. Sip that tequila, girl. Come on. Let's take a shot to get the Cardi. I fuck with you. I like Cardi B. <laughs> Me, I'm also one of them people like, y'all know I rock with Trump. You know what I mean? Shout out, to, shout out to Big DT. But I'm one of them people, your politics is so divisive and I understand why. But like, because somebody likes Kamala, I don't have to fucking say bad things. I like Cardi B. I don't care who Cardi B vote for. I like her. Who cares? Like, me and, we talk and we're, we're, you know, shit, we have different opinions and shit and it's cool. Your politics is such a divisive thing where it's like, when you hear that someone likes a candidate, you instantly just put what you think about a candidate onto the person who's voting for them, right? So if you think Kamala is an idiot, you're going to be like, oh, you would vote for Kamala. You're an idiot too. Or if you think Trump is a racist, you'd be like, you would be, you would vote for Trump. You're, you're a sellout or some shit like that, right? I don't really look at it like that, man. Like, yo, 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 we have, we live in a beautiful country. You know, again, I come from Jamaica, which is also a beautiful country, but like we, we live here, Bro, whatever you want to vote for, vote for. You want to vote for Kanye, vote for Kanye. You want to vote for Playboy Cardi, play, vote, vote for Playboy Cardi. You know, majority is going to rule, and we're going to live with that decision no matter what, right? Or supposed to be majority rules. But, um, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm never upset at anyone endorsing anything. Now, granted, it do get a little spooky around this time, right? I'm going to tell you why it gets spooky. It gets spooky because it appears that people might be getting paid, like, to, you know, pay to endorse shit, right? Like, this is where they start dumping all the money they had. Like, I ain't gonna lie, in the last two weeks of the election, they, they start saying, oh, we still got, like, $65 million in our budget. Let's just pay people to say, vote for us, right? So we're gonna see a lot of shenanigans. But I'm also, like, you know, I, I'm I'm not, I'm not here to judge who got paid or who didn't. Do I think Cardi got paid? No, I don't think Cardi got paid. Like, Cardi's a woman. Cardi probably gives a fuck about some of these things, which are, you know, seems to be woman-centric. Even though, you know, the whole Roe v. Wade thing is, you know, kind of overblown because depending on what state you're in, it won't be affected. But, um, yeah, you know, um, I'm, I'm not mad at people using their platform and saying their opinion. More. Yeah. Yeah, she's promising a lot. <laughs> and I believe her when she says she will provide a tax cut to 100 million middle class Americans. That's a lot of Americans. And that includes $6,000 for parents in the first year of child's life. Y'all remember when they used to do that? Y'all remember when this country used to do that? Yeah. Okay, so she kind of did a whole speech there. I seen also, she also went on live to talk about it. And this is what she said there. I fucks with you. I fucks with you because you don't act blind. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. I know you see what's going on in the infl inflation. What you finna do about it? She talked about it too. She's not acting blind. That's why I fucks with her. Like, I fucks with her like she a real bitch. I fuck with her. She's not acting like she don't see it. A lot of y'all, y'all like, oh. But she was just in office, blah, blah, blah. Y'all need to understand. She was waiting for her turn. She was there. She was studying. She was studying. You know what I'm saying? She couldn't do too much. But now she, now she finna do it. And she promised me. And she looked at me in my eye like a gangster. She was oh, like, shit. watch. <laughs> Yo, no matter what you think about Cardi, I could never get mad at her for being herself. <laughs> she looked at me in my eye like a gangster. <laughs> I'm gonna change this shit the fuck up. I promise you. I was like, oh. Yo, she a little gangster. I ain't gonna lie. Because my is like a gangster. Yeah. Period. And I believe in her. And I feel like she's going to change this country. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I all right, okay. So that pretty much happened. And then um, I guess this is what I was trying to get to. This guy, he's an he's a independent blogger, uh, Armand. He says, you know, um, oh, yeah. So so apparently Cardi had said she slammed Biden war fund and said she'll never endorse another president again. So apparently Cardi had said she would never endorse another president again. Right, let me see if I can pull up his tweets. Actually, I won't even get to it. Um, so she says, you're lying. She says, she says, this was before, oh, oh, 
She said this was before she ran. I don't even got to follow shit. I stand on what I believe, and that's my biggest problem was that was the issues in Palestine, which she addressed for a ceasefire. So I do. Cardi's explaining why she's endorsing a candidate after saying she didn't. She would never endorse a candidate. So, you know, you know, people are thinking who's getting paid, who's not. So they're like, yo, you say you would never endorse another candidate. Why are you doing it now? And essentially what then happened was this back and well, not back and forth. Cardi got on spaces and started tweaking on this nigga. Listen to this. Okay. I'm not a bitch. I, I'm the no, apparently he called her the B word, right? Which ironically, Cardi uses the word bitch very frequently, but we all know how women are. Like they call each other bitch, 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 bitch. But if you a guy call them a bitch, it's like, <gasps> A oh, bitch. But it's one of those colloquials. It's like, nigga, right? You say nigga with your homie all the time. It come from the wrong lips. Pause. You're like, what the fuck? You racist? <laughs> you know, so I guess it's kind of like that. But uh, Cardi is in here addressing the dude because apparently he called. I don't know. Where where did he call her a bitch? He said, lie, where? Stop playing me. She's phony. A lot of the celebrities. I, I don't know where he called her a bitch, though. It, like. I don't know. But apparently he called her a bitch somewhere. Didn't say she, didn't she say well I just fake as fuck guess all her peers are doing it she has to jump on on the moment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway, she just goes off. Here we go. I'm gonna make this very fucking clear. I'm gonna make this very motherfucking clear. Okay. I'm not a bitch. I that. I'm the type of person you gotta take me to a fucking breaking point so you can motherfucking take me there. And that's a motherfucking fact. I'm not gonna keep letting somebody think that they could disrespect me, they could bully me, and they could keep trying me. Especially when I have conversations with them, when I have conversations with them as an adult. Because if you don't respect me being a fucking adult, that means I got a mother. And by the way, this is where I'm, this is where I'm gonna also, I'm gonna give Cardi some credit. And I'm going to give Cardi some credit at a, as opposed to um, Meg. I, I know y'all keep saying the Meg Milagro situations like Cardi with Tasha K. Bro, Cardi is going to hit you up as a human. I know this as a fact. Me and Cardi cussed each other out. Like, ask Cardi. The very first time we, we talked, yo, the very first time we talked, Cardi was just like, yo, I ain't going to lie, man. You, you move mad corny, bro. And I forgot what the issue was. And we sat there and we argued it out. I told her my side. She listened to my side. She told me hers. And we came to a mutual agreement. But let me tell you why that, that conversation was important. And this is why I fuck with Cardi. Because, number one, and, and by the way, that never made it to social media, right? That's just personal shit. That, that established that we're both humans. She's a grown-ass woman and I'm a grown-ass man. And you need to have some type of respect. And also... If you're doing your job, it shouldn't be that personal. Now, if it's beef, it's whatever. If it's, yo, fuck that nigga or that other nigga saying fuck you, cool. But if you're just doing your job and I hit you up personally saying, hey, yo, here's the truth with this. Or, hey, yo, could you could you not do this because you're involved with my kids or whatever? You should be able to have those conversations, especially as media. So I always respect that. That's a, Ironically, that's how me and Car me and most rela uh, artists relationships started with a beef or an argument, because I ain't gonna lie. Unfortunately, that's when the most they want to hit you up. You know what I mean? They don't know about you. They don't hit you up till it's time to cuss you out. And me and Cardi had a conversation, and ever since then, Cardi always hit me like, "Yo, oh shit, I like how you did this," and then she'd be like, "Yo, I listen to your stream, nigga. What you talking about?" And and and, and we we usually go back and forth like that, back and forth for a long time. That's how. We if you wonder why I like I have a lot of respect for her, my respect for Cardi doesn't come through music. My respect for her comes through a person. The person that I've seen Cardi B is, she's going to not do the other shit. She's going to holler at you. She's going to holler at you in private. Now, if you choose to still approach that private conversation with disrespect, I guess that's on you. But for me, it, but what would I? Oh, but what 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 I what I realized with her, she knew she wasn't above, and this is a lot of rappers. They feel like they're above you having a difference of opinion. 
I've argued about Cardi B about some of the wording that she said about stuff in relation to Offset. Their relationship ain't none of my business. But when when they make it public, we then comment on it. So when she's like, nigga, what you mean? I seen you comment on that, blah, blah. I give her my opinion. We go back and forth. Sometimes she'll agree, but she always respected it. And I always respect her difference of opinion. So I'm going to give her that grace. I'm always going to give her that grace. Um, so when she when I hear her say that she kind of hollered at the dude, she probably did, bro. She probably did holler at him pr privately. And they could keep trying me. Meg, Meg ain't going to do that. Because I ain't going to lie to you. Meg, I'm going to keep it a being with you. And I hope Meg is watching. Yo, Meg, to keep it real. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You see, like, some of the issues you have in media? Let me tell you this. This is the thing about also this new media. P you're dealing with people, not corporations. Corporations don't have feelings. Put it like this. When, when, when me and little Baby, me and little Baby issues started from when he started calling me out of my name in DMs. After that, it was like, fuck this nigga. This nigga think he really that. All right, cool. Let me show you what happens. That's how it started. Because he treated me like I'm, a, I'm like dirt under his shoe. Now we've humbled him. He know what it is, okay? <laughs> He's learned. But that's the thing. Um, respectfully to uh, Meg. Meg, whether it's your issues with me or anybody. Well, I, don't, I can speak to me. Sometimes you might think somebody is just super pro-Tory or pro another artist. But we're talking about Tory here. You've never reached out to anybody to commute, like, the thing is with artists, the media they speak to. Oh, act, I don't know if you've seen this, but go, go check out the newest court filing. An artist is going to tell a media that. Oh, okay. You have zero communication with the people you care about. That's the problem. I hate when artists have mad opinion about media, but you never talk to them. You know if me and Meg ever talked? Like, and that's why I'm down to talk to Carisha. Look how me and Carisha was getting at each other. Why am I down to talk to her? Because honestly, and by the way, we've been, we finally DM'd. We, we got in the DMs. All right, cool. Yo, I'm down to do your show. Let's do it. The artists who think they bigger than the program, you only get slander. Because now, let me tell you this. Every artist, learn this. If you don't deal with the media platforms you supposedly are affected by, you're always going to be out in the wind. People always ask about the 6 9 situation. Even if 6ix9ine got punched in the face, he'd call me before TMZ posted. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. You about to see a video that I was fighting. But yo, I just wanna let you know, this is what happened before. Like, he's gonna give the context that when it's now reported, it don't look that bad. He beat people to the punch. He knows how to work it. He knows how to play, not necessarily play media, but he knows how to interact with media. As I said, Cardi gonna holler at you directly. Meg, I don't think, yo, for, for all this happening, like, me and Meg could have had a, a off off the grid conversation, and I would be like, yo, listen, you know I know Tori. And this is stuff I've this is what this is my understanding that people don't know of what went down. Like this. What, what you gotta say? This ain't this ain't no media shit, but I'm trying to get to understand you. Because everything that we all think about Meg is based on what we see on the media. Bro, you seem like a fucking liar. Because everything we're seeing is just these things that don't paint you in a proper light. I think Meg should start reaching out to some of these, but I think it's too late. I ain't gonna lie. Cause now the way I look at her is like, she's trying to intimidate me. So I'm like, I'm good. But at any point, I don't know if y'all know, I don't like me and Meg don't got no fucking beef. I ain't Tori. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like I know Tori probably was probably thinking some other shit now, but for me at any point, she could have been like, yo, act, yo, where'd you get that from? Wait, act, wait, what do you think happened? These artists think they're too big to deal with the media directly. Then they file lawsuits suing the media they won't talk to. You know what you should have done? And I don't know if she did this. Bro, pull Milagro to the side. Yo, get on a call with her. Facilitate that. Yo, let me holler at you. Yo, Milagro, what's up? I know we two women. By the way, they both from Texas. Yo, listen, I know you might be cool with Tori. I get it, girl. It's all good. I just want to, you know, I want to just touch bases because I understand people care about your reporting deal with the situation, but it has to do with my life too. This is what's going on. What, what do you think happened? Okay, I hear you on that, but hear my side. Now, if you do that and a nigga still just di disregards you when you're hollering at him like a human, 
It, it's up, I guess. And I guess that's what, what Cardi's saying. Here we go. I'm not a bitch. I, I'm the type of person you got to take me to a fucking breaking point so you can motherfucking take me there. And that's a motherfucking fact. I'm not going to keep letting somebody think that they could disrespect me. They could bully me. And they could keep trying me. Especially when I have conversations with them. When I have conversations with them as an adult. Because if there you don't go. respect me being a fucking adult, that means I got to motherfucking treat you how I motherfucking treat people in the motherfucking streets. And that is a motherfucking fact. Let me tell you something. My dad, my baby dad, never called me out my fucking name. When a nigga is calling me bitch, hoes, I don't give a fuck if you suck dick like me. Don't you ever call me out my fucking name if we're not fucking or if you're not my best or you or you or we not cool like that. If we're not call, cool like that, you can call me a bitch, you can call me a hoe. And I let that shit fucking slide. I let that shit slide. But I'm not gonna keep letting somebody disrespect me. Even people around me don't even let people disrespect me. I let a nigga know plenty of times, plenty of times. When me and my baby daddy wasn't talking, my baby daddy addressed the nigga because he's like, and I asked my baby daddy like, yo, did you address this person? You got in this person DM? He was like, yeah, because I'm, why does this nigga keep disrespecting you? Every single time I see the motherfucker, he's disrespecting you. I don't even have niggas that, my niggas don't play about me. Whether I'm fucking them or whether I'm cool. In every state. Cardi, stop saying niggas. You mean your nigga. Okay? When you say your niggas, people be thinking you have more than one. You, It's offset, okay? All right? Just stop saying niggas. People thinking that is like multiple guys you're dealing with. Please. Because I got, I got people in every state. You're not going to keep fucking playing with me. And that shit is coming from me. Not nobody, not nobody else, but from fucking me. And I'm letting you know. And I'm not doing no fucking Twitter shit. I'm not arguing with nobody. I'm not piping nobody up. Stop fucking playing with me. Leave me the fuck alone. Because I promise you on my kids. Every time you go out, people tell me where the fuck you at. At that time, too. But I don't be giving a fuck. Cardi. Cardi. This way you got to rein it in, baby girl. You already have a lawsuit. Remember, remember, six nine girlfriend and her friend that y'all y'all was hitting over the head till they had concussions with ice buckets. That's how you caught that charge. You can't be saying things on spaces saying niggas is telling me they know where you at when you outside because it almost gives the assumption that if you wanted them to get hurt, someone who would have hurt those people on behalf of you. And we've already seen Dirt got a murder for higher charge. Not saying you would get nobody murdered, but you wanna you don't wanna say shit like that. Don't let me get there. Cause you keep fucking playing with me. And the shit is coming from my mouth. Ooh. My mouth. Stop fucking playing with me. Cause I be sparing niggas. Not sparing niggas on the argument shit. Sparing niggas in real life. Not good, but okay. You don't think you don't think people be telling me? Little stylish, little this every time that they see you around? Cause you'll be around. Cardi got goons like that? And I spare niggas. Y'all not gonna keep, you're not gonna keep picking on me, you're not gonna keep bullying me. I'm not nobody that nobody's gonna bully, especially a man. No man can fucking pick on me. I don't give a fuck if you suck dick like me. Who the fuck you think you are? Try me and try me and try me like I'm a hoe. Now, if somebody that live in West Bubble Fuck, I can't do shit. But I be sparing you a real fucking life. Leave me the fuck alone. Shit is getting, shit is getting pathetic and I'm getting tired of it. Okay, okay. There's boundaries. There's boundaries and you been crossing them. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with the brim. What? Stop playing with the brim. Boundaries and you been crossing them. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with the brim. Motherfuckers think that people are scared to argue. I'm not, I'm not going back and forth. I'm not doing none of that shit on no fucking social media. I'm not piping y'all. I piped up too many people. But I'm letting you know right now, 
This ain't no twist words. Stop fucking playing with me and leave me the fuck alone. Because I don't bother nobody. Don't come fucking bothering me. Because I spare niggas a plenty of times. And I'm not talking about sparing niggas on no fucking internet time. And that's a fact. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. So you making threats. Your husband's already threatened me. So let's let that be what it's going to be. But I'm not about to keep playing this game. I'm not going to be silenced. I'm not going to disrespect. Wait, wait who is this? Is this a guy? Has already threatened me, so let's let that be what it's gonna be. But I'm not about to keep playing this game. I'm not gonna be silenced. <coughs> I'm not gonna disrespect. I'm not making up lies. I give my opinion on what the fuck I see. If I feel like it's a phony endorsement, I feel like it's a phony endorsement. That's not coming for you. I'm not recording conversations like you've recorded my conversations. And you want to dry threaten me? So let's just put that out there. And I'm dropping it at that. But I'm not going to be feeling like, oh, well, I can't talk because I'm going to be threatened. I'm going to get jumped or whatever the fuck is going to happen to me. I'm still going to get my opinion. And whatever happens after that, that's what happens. Okay, so you guys heard what both Cardi B and... Okay, now we're getting it. Let me see. It's just like... like Where did he... I still don't know when he called her a bitch, though. Tears are doing it. Come on. Our mom was been sparing you so girl good motherfucker okay all right man whatever i think he later apologized too wait what's his at name he later you know i think people i think people pointed out that bro at the end of the day like you're like a dude and it don't look too good when you're like threatening or, or like when you're talking Trust me, and I'm pretty sure he don't look at it like that. He's just like, yo, no, I'm I'm doing what I'm normally doing, but then they start putting it in, in a way where, um, um, yo, you're a guy and you're bullying a woman. But I think he's a gay guy. I don't know. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Sorry, let me see. Yeah, he had apologized too. Oh, is this it? This is like three hours. Fuck. And then it was discovered hey, it's not uh, lost. It All right. Anyway, he had apologized. He says, "Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna apologize to her." Let me see. Oh. He basically said he was gonna apologize if he ever called out her name, and and that was that. Anyway, let's. Get